Hello, explorers, adventurers, and everyone in between to Ticket to Adventure. Today, we are going back to Buena Vista Street, and we're going to continue that day from part one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first video, part one. It was a lot of fun, and we're going to continue this day, so go on to part two. We are in line for our next stop. It's the trolley treats. And we're going to go around. There's some cool pins and some good treats. So let's go look inside. Let's go. Okay, what did you find that you like so very much? My favorite. Mickey pretzels. Mickey pretzels, not those uh, uh, nice warm cooey ones, the nice hard crunchy ones. And they have mm. individual packs as well. Ooh. For your lunch. For your lunch, that's very good. They're delicious. Don't yeah. believe me? Ask the dishes. Uh, that was good. That was good. That was good. They also have a lot of pest dispensers, surprisingly. Oh my gosh. They have Baby Yoda and Mandalorian pest dispensers. That's amazing. Christmas time just today. A quarter, huh? So, you might think, oh, this is just yellow and blue, and this is pink and purple, but one is for. Don't know if you can see that, but Disneyland. And then the other is for California Adventure. So it's pretty interesting how they just, I don't know, make it different colors and other parks. And they have the map on it too. And there is the cup of the California Adventure one, but there, I do not see any purple ones. Because they have the California Adventure up here, California Adventure down here, which is where we are right now. But there's no rides open, obviously, which is sad. And there he is, trying to find some change for the penny press. Uh, no, I have enough for it, it's just penny press. It's a struggle, let me tell That's you. That's what I was asking for, so. Here's a little sneak peek of some of their treats they have. We're gonna go look up at the case, but look. They have someone for Easter, bunny, a duck, cake pop, and then for St. Patty's Day, they have a Rice Krispie treat, shaped in the luckiness of St. Patty's Day. Pretty cool. We're gonna look up at the display case and stuff. Here are some other delectable treats they have. A little marshmallow on a stick, a little ticker, Trisha cat, sweet of chocolate, caramel apple, a cinnamon a cracker thingy, and then another uh, nut surrounded caramel apple. So yeah, these are some options they have here. They have a a apple, a caramel apple, but it looks like a duck. So cute. They have one looks like Mickey is in a outfit, a like the leprechaun, you could say. It's pretty cool. So this is the treat table. They have these churro toffee. Bunny, nice crispy tree. They have this 
chocolate marshmallow looking tail. The Shashar cat tail. The mini peep cake pops. And this is what I'm getting for later. And then they have the same thing on the other side. But then they have a cupcake. And I think that's just a plain old apple. Oh no, god, it's covered in sugar. Alright, this is a cover, a sugar covered apple. And then they have what really good looking chocolate chips. Oh, where magic lives. That's such a good license plate. License it's only plate. It's a pretty good deal. Mom, we okay. got some pins, right? It's pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh, oh God, yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Here. Oh wow. We'll show you the unboxing. That's only, only the first day. We'll see how much pins we end up after the last day. I know, I know. They have the red book, but it's a better deal. I have a feeling after we go to the pin trader three times. We'll probably end up with a lot of pins left. So we'll see. We're finishing up our store rack in here. We are going to Hollywood. Woohoo! Hollywood! <laughs> da -da 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 Hollywood! We're heading to Hollywood. Woohoo! We're gonna become movie stars, you know. Maybe take some pictures from the red carpet, you know, premiering. Uh, and maybe getting a balloon, just maybe. Oh my gosh, are you just stepping on the rail? You realize you could get ran over, right? If your foot gets stuck, it'll run you over. They'll run you over. They will not stop for you. It'll just run the train. All the balloons! All the balloons! Oh, okay, we'll see you while we're down Hollywood. So, we have met up with some other friends of ours and we all have new emos, so they decided to do a monkey chain of new emos, specifically mini new emos. So we got one mini new emo and then three mini new emos. They're all chained and linked one after each other. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, you guys. Oh no! Oh no! It fell. Oh, but they're still connecting. They're still connecting. We are taking our new emos, and we are going to see what's metal or not metal. We're going to see if Mickey can stick to the statue of Walt and Mickey Mouse. So we'll see. And Minnie will have to try too. Minnie will also try. We'll okay. see how that turns out. So we are going into this little... I'm... So um, I had to cut the audio from this part because I got copyright claimed with the background music, but I'm just going to explain to you what's happening right now. So we figured out that uh, the partner statue in California Adventure was not made of metal. So right now, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to pose Mickey because I still want that amazing new emo pictures. Uh, at the time of filming, we only had those two new emos. Now we have we have Donald Duck, Stitch, and Angel. So maybe on our next trip, we can bring those down and we'll try to post them in different places. But yeah, so we got them to pose right here. It was really good. Um, you can see the picture of it on the thumbnail. So yeah, I, that turned out really good. So I hope you guys enjoy this and go on to the rest of the video. So we're going around just posing Mickey and Minnie. We got them to pose on the Walt and Mickey statue in California Adventure. Pretty cool. Let's see where we can take our new emos next. We are here in Hollywood. Back on too? Off stage. Off, off the page. You know, looking at, we might go look in the back lot, which we did in our really cool downtown Disney vid, if you want to go check that out. So yeah, we're gonna go check out the back lot. Hello guys. So we are now in the back lot premiere shop in a DCA, which is really cool. You can tell it's a back lot, it's a studio lot, because there's literally zero echo, absolute zero. The acoustics hey. in here are spantacular. It's so good. Anyways, we're gonna show you around, see. You almost said fantastic. So, like I mean. Spantacular. Yeah, so we're gonna go look around. If I find anything new that we didn't see last time in my other video, but you should go watch. Here they have some dog and cat stuff for dogs. They have some dogs on the lounge front. They have some cats on the lounge front, which is pretty cool. They have these different outfits here. And another cool thing is they have a matching rain jacket and umbrella. 
cats and dogs. Cool line for all those kiddos and people who would like cats and dogs. Oh my gosh, Abigail, that looks amazing on you. This is mine. Literally, I want to pet that dog right now. Well, we found the uh, stuff, the uh, Space Mountain cookie jar that my brother wanted. Oh, good on huh. you, mom. That would look Tie -dye. good on you. Pretty cute, huh? Yes. That would look nice. The little on you. D Disneyland. Can I see yeah. the back? D for Disneyland. Disneyland Resort. Very nice, very nice. I think that would look good on you, Mom. Thank you. And then these are the ears that match it, aren't they? Yep, looks the like it. Because why would, there's these, there's a like neon, right? Or like 80s. There's 80s, right? I think these are 80s or 90s or something. And then there's this Disneyland Resort. Same thing as the pink one, it's not Friday. And it's just, it has the D in front. That's. It doesn't really show the front. See, that is the front right there. It has that print. And these are the matching ears. One of them fell down for a little ear. And it's kind of interesting because you find all this stuff over here where you can't find, well, you can find it anywhere else, but it's sometimes you just can't find it. You're like, where is that one specific thing? Just like with the cookie jar. We couldn't find it at any other store but this. Backlot Studio Tour. And then there's a bunch of Mickey and Minnie Mouse. There's Minnie Mouse. And we are going to pay, so I'll meet you on the outside. They have a one division mean drink thing here, so you get in line right over there. You can see one division is glitching. It says welcome to Westview. That's that. They have a little one division mean not mean greet, but like they have a backdrop where you can sit on the couch. It looks like you're in the screens. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, it's super long line, so I don't think we're gonna do that today. But I think we're going to go down to uh, Pier, uh, Pixar Pier area. I know we can't actually go inside Pixar Pier. But we're just going to head down that way and see how far we can go. Maybe we can see Cars Land. Maybe if we're hoping. Hey guys, so we are going into this little plaza area here. It's kind of like a mid-gate between uh, the main walkway way and uh, Avengers campus. So it's pretty cool. I'm getting in line. There's Susan over there. And they have the different things you can see into this Spider-Man attraction. Which is very cool. Very cool indeed. You can see the light pictures. You can kind of see how they're gonna operate a little bit. It's pretty cool. So guys, they do have a limit here, but you can see Cars Land, and you can see activity with cast members getting ready for the taste of Disney events here happening. In just a couple of days, you can even see posters starting to arise in the area. It's very cool. Okay, Abigail, we are getting a balloon. There we go, Abigail. There we go, Abby. Woo, Abigail, what do you think of your new balloon? I love it. Love it? Let's keep on going. Let's go. Let's go. I'll stand out in the crowd. Okay, let's go back to our let's go back to our t -t 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 table. I don't think there's one more. Table. Let's go back into the to the table. Pretty cool, Abby. Hey guys, so we last clip I was getting something. I got a nice refreshing drink. That you get a drink of and then uh, I sat down for a little bit and now we are heading into 
the Grizzly Peak area. This is the one area we haven't looked yet. We're gonna once we do that, I think we're gonna head off. But I wanted to go uh, past the uh, Grizzly Peak, and maybe we can go look into Soren a little bit. Let's see what we find and some different stuff. Like look over here, Grizzly Peak, Grizzly Peak Airfield. Very cool. We're in Grizzly Peak now. Now, I want to look a little everywhere, look at the stuff. First, let's go look at Soren, see how our friend over there is doing, being closed. You know, there's Soren. Soren around the world, Grizzly Peak. Go check up on our friend. Ah, uh, Soren. I could just ride you right now. So close, but so far away. Hard to see this place. They took they took the area and turned it into a bigger seating area. But oh my gosh, over there. Also the doors if they were open, we'd be going in. And this is the exit. Probably see them. Try to see down there. It's pretty cool. They have it blocked off. And this is where you would typically exit from the ride. It's pretty cool to see that area. How many service and supplies? This door would roll up and there's actually a gift shop in there, which is pretty cool, but they have the area closed. So that's kind of sad to see. And yeah, a cool thing uh, I want to mention right here is that uh, they used to have a little stage right here it, it was called Minnie's Fly School. It was a little show that Minnie would put on. And this thing would actually flip up and it said Minnie's Fly School on the back. They obviously have the lever chained and locked so nobody can do it. But you could flip that thing up and it was a whole show. Tower over here. It's still here, it's still surviving. The door is actually not closed. Which is interesting. To Soren, that's where you exit. Out uh, there you go up there. I showed you that before. It's pretty cool. You would actually stand in line over here. This is where Fast Pass was for the attraction. Some people got engaged. That's so nice. <laughs> they, they couple got over here. Probably shouldn't be filming them. That's so nice. Getting engaged in DCA. Aww. That's so, that's so nice. Totally missed it. Oh my gosh, I feel bad. Aww. Love, love things to see. Look over here. They have the, the plane for the airfield. Pretty cool. And they have the runway as itself. This is supposed to look like the air uh, uh, runway and this is the exit over there. Flies off and that's actually a backstage area. What's cool is I kind of see back, uh, people back there like cast members and stuff. So they're probably getting ready for the Taste of Disney event that's gonna happen. So yeah, won't be here to cover it, but there'll be other people who are covering it. Plus, not a lot of people watch me. So if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. And hit the little bell icon, you know, to get updated new videos and stuff. But yeah, I think that's pretty much what we can see today. Because this area is blocked off and the other areas was blocked off too. So, yeah. Pretty cool to see, be here on the last day. You know, I live a little bit far away from here, so we woke up super early just so we can get here in time to experience this. And I feel very fortunate to be able to come here and just glance around, you know, even not ride rides, just to, you know, enjoy the atmosphere, eat food, and all that kind of stuff I was so grateful for. And as we saw, beautiful things happening uh, 
is is just a wonderful place to be and I'm so happy that I got to go down here and see this place before it closed today's the last day of Bonavista Street because it's gonna close for Taste of Disney or Touch of Disney forgot which one it was on Thursday now I won't be here for very long by the time this video comes out I will still I will be home because I'm only being here for three days you know very short very short trip but just enough to get some content out of it and plus get some merchandise and stuff uh, yeah it's very exciting and let's I'm gonna meet my my family at the popcorn booth so that's very exciting so I'll see you guys there bye bye thank you everybody for joining us here today on our vlog it was a lot of fun for our first and last day of Buena Vista Street for it being closed tomorrow. So And my mom finally got me a balloon. Yeah. As you saw in the vlog earlier, Abigail got a balloon. My first Disney balloon in my life. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Like, subscribe, comment, I'll do all the things, and have a good day. See you later, adventurers. Bye-bye. <laughs>